the next one is inspiring and where that's represented by the letter I and this is the child that just wants to have fun when people come over I don't care if it's a repairman the Avon lady whoever it is they think they're there to play with them and they're going to entertain um, they're very fun to be around very outgoing as you can imagine but the biggest challenge for this personality is they're great at being with people but they're horrible at accomplishing tasks for them, tasks are not fun, uh, and they'd much rather be around people. And so in order to uh, create win-win situations with this personality type, first of all, you have to make everything fun. And you also have to put things in writing. You cannot say to them, go clean your room. Because to this personality, they go in the room, they shove everything under the bed, they walk out very content and think that their room is clean. <laughs> and that wasn't probably your idea of a clean room. And so what you do is you actually make a list. It would be very specific. It would say, take the sheets off your bed, wash the sheets, dry the sheets, put, put the sheets back on the bed. Whatever their expe your expectations are, it needs to be very specific and in writing. Now, the benefit of this, they're not going to necessarily just automatically do everything because they still have a challenge doing tasks. But now you have a legitimate way to follow up. They know what the expectations are, and you're not the bad person anymore. It's the list. Right. So you can follow up by saying, did you follow the chores on the list? Not what I told you to do. And, of course, you can accompany them to the list and go down the list line by line. And the things that aren't done, you say, well, that was on the list, so go do that, and then we'll come back to the list. So you're still going to have to follow up, but it takes the entire battle out of the situation because it's clearly defined what your expectations are, and they can't argue with the list. And so that's <laughs> definitely uh, a good strategy to use with that particular personality type. Okay, cool. Interesting. And now what's, what's next? S is supportive, and okay. this is the sweet little child that loves to help when others get hurt or to do sweet things for their friends, or, or maybe they kind of mother younger children. And very, very pleasant to have around, very easygoing. The challenge for them is, first of all, they have trouble making decisions. And so you kind of have to help them through that process. And instead of overwhelming them with 20 choices, maybe you can get it down to two choices and have them choose between the two and really talk about the benefits of each choice. You know, what would be uh, good about choosing this one? versus choosing the other one and really help them through, through that process instead of saying, well, good grief, it's only two choices. Can't you decide? Really, they can't. And it's with everyday things, not, not huge things, everyday things. And so you have to help them with that. And also, um, this child tends to be pushed into situations by their parents that make them feel uncomfortable. You know, maybe they arrive at a party and there's other kids and they say, you know, go play with the kids. Well, this particular personality really needs to kind of sit back and take in that scene before they feel comfortable going off with other children. And so encourage that. Let them know it's okay to be that way and not say, what's wrong with you? Why don't you want to go play? You know, sometimes we tend to treat our kids based on what we would do if we were the one in that situation. And unfortunately, that's not a good match for every child. And so that's some suggestions for that personality. Okay, cool. Okay, that's awesome. So, um, so we've been through uh, the dominant, the inspiring, the supportive, and uh, the cleanup hitter would be? <laughs> <laughs> the last one is cautious, and this is represented by the letter C. And these are your children that are four levels deep thinkers. They don't care about goofing off and having fun. They are into the chess club or the math league. They love to learn. They're information gatherers. Um, they tend to be kind of germ phobic, don't enjoy getting dirty. They will set their own routine. They'll keep their room clean. They want everything in a certain place. And so the challenge with this particular personality is that they're perfectionists in nature. And if they feel as if they can't do something perfectly, they simply don't want to try at all. And so we have to encourage them to try new things, to let them know it's okay to not be perfect, and to remind them that everything they do now was new to them at one time. So, you know, for example, foods. They don't like to try new foods. They want to stick with the foods that they know that they like. But reality is every food they eat, they had to try. Right. <laughs> Remind them that it's okay not to like something or it's okay.
okay not to be perfect at something. And it's okay to not want to socialize with other children. This particular personality really needs some alone time. They like to spend time alone in thinking and reading and uh, maybe doing computer games and those types of things. And they don't need other people around to entertain them. They're fine by themselves. And so they need to know that it's okay to be that way. Okay, cool. You know, it's interesting because I remember um, now that we're talking about this more, when I, I worked for a builder down in Florida a long time ago, and a gal that was my manager there had this pers personality profiling categories, and she would do this with her clients that would walk in. So she would treat them all differently. So I, I'm guessing it's one fit, one parent fits all personality type doesn't work for all, all of, you've got four kids. <laughs> Maybe exactly. one of each personality type. So, I do have four. They're all at least partially different. And, and that is a huge mistake that parents make uh, is trying to raise all their children the same. And man. we've probably all figured out by now they're not the same. And that really isn't working. And you're going to have a better relationship probably with some than you are with the other. You know, if you're a D parent and you're parenting a D child, you're going to butt heads a lot unless you understand <laughs> yeah. to give them choices and to give them a challenge. Right. And it really can change the relationship with our children. I've done, I've trained tens of thousands of parents on this very thing. And, you know, sometimes they stand up in the room and they say, I wish I would have known this 40 years ago, you know, because the relationship would be different with their child. And it's so important uh, for parents to understand that they need to raise their child based on that child's personality and their individual needs based on that personality. Now that's interesting because how did you come across this? Because you're 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 obviously young enough to have caught this before your children are old. How did you come across like studying this and getting involved with this? Well, actually, when I was about nineteen, I joined Amway, which most people have probably been in at some point in their life. And Hello, <laughs> just once. <laughs> but but. Uh, but their system is to listen to motivational tapes and so forth and so I listened to some about personality profiling and just thought it was very interesting and then I went and purchased some books <coughs> by the same speaker and read those and then shortly after I had to go to a summer camp to be a youth director for teenagers and when I arrived they called a staff meeting and they said okay here's the deal you have to teach a class every day for an hour and we don't have any materials or resources so just do whatever you want you know to keep the kids busy and so I thought, well, gee, I just read all these books. I'm just going to talk to them about it and see, you know, what they think. Right. And so that's really how I got started because I saw very quickly how just knowing a little bit of this could really change the dynamics of a family. Right. Oh, your, your screen's going bright and dark again all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that because I'm not sitting here flicking the lights on. Yeah, I promise that. Yeah. Laser lights. You're, you're, you're in strobe light. It's a strobe light. So it's earth-shattering yeah. information. <laughs> okay, great. I charge extra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Angel, if someone wants to get some more information or to take that assessment test, what is the website that you had said was good to go to? Okay, it's personalityprofiles.org. Okay, with an S at the end, profiles.org. Yeah. Oh, okay. You'll click on order materials, and then you can also check out my kids' books that I have there. We have award-winning children's books that teach them how to understand personality types. Okay. And they make great gifts for teachers. If you're looking for a Christmas gift for teachers right. and they teach elementary school, by all means, you get the entire set for 25 bucks. You can even give one to each teacher if you want to break them up um, and, and make it really inexpensive. But teachers will actually use them in the classroom uh, when they read to kids and help them understand about our differences and that it's okay to be different. Yeah, well, that's terrific. So, so we're... we're, we're just about at the end of time, but I wanted to share with you real quick today, I, after reading this last night, um, our son Ryan was having a challenge with wanting to brush his teeth this morning. So I said, well, let me try one of these things. I said, <laughs> now, Ryan, you have a choice. I said, you could either brush your teeth and have dessert tonight after dinner or forget about brushing your teeth and you won't get dessert. So I said, I'm going to count to five. So I counted to five and on four, he was in the bathroom brushing his teeth. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're excited about having these tools because, you know, we need those types of things. So, uh, Angel, again, we really appreciate you coming on with us.